Think about filling a swimming pool with oil. That's a few hundred gallons, right? Now imagine over 11 million gallons of that crude oil spilling to the ocean. That's going to need a lot of hard work to get out. This is what happened along the shores of Alaska on March 24, 1989, when the captain of the Exxon Valdez oil tanker decided to sleep off a few vodka drinks. As a result of this, his third mate unknowingly steered the ship into one of the reefs near Alaska's Prince William Sound. But unfortunately, all of that work that was put into cleaning the disaster hasn't paid off just yet, even though the accident occurred more than 25 years ago. What happened in Alaska in 1989 was recorded as one of the most costly marine oil spills exceeding more than 7 billion US dollars. While this had a severe economic impact, there was even greater damage of the marine and environmental life that resided within a couple thousand miles of the accident. More than 250,000 seabirds and thousands of sea otters were found dead, along with many other wildlife animals, including bald eagles and killer whales. The oil without a doubt destroyed the habitat for the marine life living along 1,300 miles of the Alaskan shore. Disrupting the stabilization of the biological communities made it even more difficult for life to recover from the accident. Although some of the wildlife populations were able to recover from the misfortune, some still have not. For example, the killer whales and the school of fish are still trying to recover from the accident. The oil spill not only impacted wildlife, but the lives of those who lived along the shores. The population were greatly affected. Because of this great loss of fish, there was economic harm of about $300 million done to the people of Alaska, as that was a major food source. The fishing market being a big economic source of the population lost not only just money, but caused hardships for fishermen and residents of the area. There was about $31 million more million worth of losses even after a couple years after the accident. With every accident, harm can be prevented with sufficient cleanup. But the Exxon Valdez cleanup had several issues moving forward. The lack of personnel and equipment had halted the cleanup of the oil. Within the sixth hour of the spill, the cleanup crew were yet to be seen. Exxon failed to react quickly and efficiently, making this the worst spill. What could have been a simple cleanup only became the worst one yet. The machines that were used to clean up the oil were brought to the scene about 24 hours later. These machines, such as a skimmer, turned out to be useless because of the thickness of the oil and the heavy cap which clogged the machines. This led to the use of chemical dispersants on the ocean water even though the toxicity of these chemicals was not provided. The approval and acknowledgement of the public were not accounted for. The use of core exit led to serious health effects amongst the cleanup crew such as respiratory, liver, lung, and blood disorders. As a result of the Exxon Valdez incident, the Oil Pollution Act of 1990 was passed by Congress. This act was to ensure that there was a liability fund to make sure there was enough money to pay for resources to clean up if those at fault were incapable of doing so. Plans such as the Spill Prevention Control and Countermeasure, or SPCC for short, were created to help facilitate cleanup and reduce time spent during the process. Although there was a great amount of effort that went into cleaning up the oil spill, the effects of the disaster even decades later are still lingering in the waters of P Prince William Sound. For example, the killer whales found near the sound are being afflicted by bioaccumulation of toxins. The ecosystem is still recovering as toxins from the dispersants used to clear the oil spill are being ingested by smaller animals and going up the food chain with time. The wildlife is still to this time recovering from all the chemicals that have been spilled in Prince William Sound. The Exxon Valdez spill was a very unfortunate event, although it provoked necessary changes needed to oil spill prevention, response, and cleanup methods.